All that's happened so far is somebody got stolen. And I made like... And it's a girl. I made like a quarter hundred dollars, a quarter thousand dollars here. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Yeah. And, and like in one day. Yeah, I just kind of walked around the neighborhood and made like a day's wage or more. Is everyone here just loaded? They're just throwing away money? Apparently. Like, are we going to find out that like it's like Monopoly money from like a different economy that isn't relevant anymore or something? I, I was at work and I saw someone, they like dropped a quarter and they just like looked at me and then walked off. And I was like, I think I'd pick up a quarter still. I'm not at that Bill Gates level where I can drop a hundred dollar bill and not pick it up. These are genres. Uh, rock, rock? Okay. <laughs> pop, hip hop, classic rock, 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 alt rock, <laughs> pop rock, jazz. Rock, rock, rock. You're missing some categories there? There's no, cl yeah, there's classic. There's no country. Where's uh, there's death, no rap. Where would death metal be? Is that there's rock rock? Zero, there's zero metal of any kind here. Well, 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 well what's rock rock? None of the types rock? of metal are here. I, I consider metal like a genre of rock. They're just doing jokes is... I don't know, it's hard. Music categories are really jokes arbitrary. Is... Ah! Whoa, what the fuck? Did you just fall on his ass? In water? Yeah, like, what? What's behind the counter? What's your deal? There's a missing what's, kid. What's your deal? Oh, sex that... magic. It does remind me of blood sugar, sex, blood sugar sex, sex magic, magic or something. Yeah. And it says red hot chili peppers. That's a great album. Oh no, I think his brother's missing. That's depressing. Do you also know two brothers? <laughs> <laughs> you were two brothers. <gasps> the ugly duck poster is just Led Zeppelin. Is it? The Flight of Icarus image. Yeah, that's like a Led Zeppelin used image. They use a lot of really good imagery. Hmm. They have the, the hermit. They, they use a lot of Lord of the Rings imagery. Hmm. They, and they refer, refer to Lord of the Rings in their songs all the time. I'm just realizing the back alley boys, one of them is so strong he's just carrying the other one on his arm. Like I, I think gremlin. they're no, they're all jumping. Are they? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> what if he just says little gremlin? <laughs> That's Howie. <laughs> Please, come in. Once again, he says that I have here. both of these. Well, you're. All right. What about all the records behind you? You can't buy any of those. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is an entire place full of records. I can buy two records. Talk to that girl. That that one Talk was just crying. Talk to Stephanie. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh. Ah. <laughs> Ever since I heard the new Back Alley Boys app track, everything else sounds lame. Ew. What's Grandma listening to? She listened to thrash metal. Uh, that's. It's kind of a nice detail. It's her hiding out of the way so that I can get the past. Oh, that's kind of nice, I guess. But she's, she's, like, she's twitching. But she's kind of glitching out. Which do you think a 12-year-old girl would like more? The back alley boys or 126 degrees? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. There's no in sync though, just 98 degrees and Backstreet Boys. I like that. Speaking of King Magnet of Hill, since Magnetic we were wolf. talking about that earlier, there's the episode where like there's an episode where Hank or, okay, so he, Hank is like disapproving of all the music that Bobby likes, and then he picks out what is fundamentally the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. And he's like, this sounds like they're all singing together in harmonies. So he's like, this sounds really nice. Like, that's mm -hmm. good. And then I'm going to the concert, and then they all like sing in harmony, and then they'll rip each other's shirts off and do like <laughs> dances with like fireworks and stuff. And Hank's <laughs> like, what have I done? Isn't this just Link? Is it? I'm getting like Christmas Link vibes. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, no, it's that little guy on the wall over there. Rot. Which one? Go, uh, go on towards, the right? No, go to, no, no, go towards me. Or towards the front. Keep going. Right there. Blue SARS. That's the same oh. picture. Oops, sorry, I just hit the mic. Blue SARS. I like that crying poster on the left. That's my favorite one. Mon plus. Hashtag mood, am I right? Uh... <laughs> where, where is Primus located, sir? <laughs> Um, what category is that? Well, yeah, wait, is it category is rock, Primus, rock, please? pop, rock? Is it jazz? <laughs> Photo chick. I want it, but I can't afford it. You wouldn't understand. Huh? Anywho. <laughs> all these girls are, oh, they're all crazy looking and mean. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. I love her. Oh She's my, my favorite. God. She's my favorite. She's my favorite. Oh, oh my gosh. My oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I love your her. your camera right here. Thanks. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please talk to her. 
<laughs> she turns to Val. <laughs> <laughs> She's the cutest. Gothica. I'm not stealing. Go away, hipster scum. All these giant framed pictures of, like, generic stock imagery. All the girls in this game are mean to you. Yeah. There's a there's a there's a tone. They're going. Oop. Hmm. I saw the fucking mosquito that's in here. I lost it already though. It's so small. It's covering me in marks. Keith's getting tormented by a mosquito yeah. that he can't find. That's just living in his room with him. Yep. Just covering me in mosquito hickeys. Oh, cute. <laughs> Trying to make it romantic. <laughs> somebody loves me. No, no. <laughs> At least somebody kisses me. Hmm. How long does it take for them to just die? It takes longer for a mosquito than a fly, right? Yeah, I don't know what the it's lifespan annoying. is on them. I'm sure it's still I fundamentally can never short. Quite catch it. Are we gonna meet a gamer? Hey, it's, that's, it's your game. That's Eric. too many arrows. That's not. Oh wow! <laughs> she was making a face. <laughs> wow, they're all mean. <laughs> yes! This place is the bomb! He's still not smiling. Man, this place is so good. Not only do they have war, but they have war and war and war. And raw, and raw, they have, yeah, raw, raw. They have four raws, which is just war backwards. That is, I didn't think about that. I just like, <laughs> game about meat. Dude. Wow! <laughs> this is a lot better than I expected. There's so <sighs> Does that girl live in Frankton? I don't think I've ever seen her before. I don't know. Wait to say She's that. She's ancient anyway. Like a weirdo. She's ancient? How old is she? What she do you think she is? 26? Oh no! <laughs> Your exact age. Ouch! One foot in the grave, huh, Stephanie? Oh no! I know. That's really not that much older than me, dude. Whatever. You're ancient too. Let's come back here later. We should get to the factory. I want to talk to this. Did I just get okay boomered? You no, wait, pick up that dollar, pick girl? up that dollar. What are these camera angles? Go back and pick up the dollar. I know, but I just need to process the camera angles that are coming my way in this place. This is a... There yeah. it is. I was gonna have like Devil May Cry with the fixed One camera dollar. angle. They just make you like run ah! by some Resident Evil sort of stuff. Why? It's really not a good... Pew pew pew! pew. That girl behind the change counter is really cute. I wonder if she would give me any free tickets. No. Why? <laughs> Why would he do? It? Why would they do that? My friend keeps looking over at my screen. It won't matter in the end. Well, are you guys competing? Because usually those games you play yeah. together. How would you benefit from looking at your screen? It's just a light gun game. I mean, if you're if you're playing like there are games with like where couch co-op is really not good because you can just yeah very but they're, they're playing raw where it's a it's a blue and a red console tied to each other and they both have guns like they're playing time crisis 2. with well, like war which is my most played arcade game of all time time crisis 2 is like the best it's so good it's really fun I, ironically i never played as keith my brother oh, always who, played as keith i always who, played as, as the blue player 2 character who would want to be a keith if you didn't have to be a keith so I was one. I was wanted to be the the because uh, I always wanted to play the blue character and, and everything. Is that uh, the one that then, has like? Then the... I found out that the guy in the guy in red's actually just named Keith. Isn't was the one of them looking like a pirate? I always thought one of them looking like a pirate. No. What? No. No. That's that's three. <laughs> the, I think oh. Two is better than three, two but is three. So good. Three, I think has a guy that looks I've like a pirate. Beat, I've straight up played it from front to back, just over and over and over and over. If I remember right, there's like a blonde okay, so pretty Mario. boy, and then there's a guy that looks like a pirate. That rot game I've seen, that the poster of the other place, that's Mario. That one has grass on it. it, it's just like Duck Hunt or something? No. It just has grass on the top. Uh, it looks like Centipede. Perhaps. Kind of. But it says that it's raw, but these people are playing raw and it's a light gun game, so I'm confused. I wouldn't worry too much about the name, I really don't think they put a lot of thought yeah. into that part. But that is straight up the best arcade game ever. Uh... In which case, looking at each other's screens, like you're, you're on the same team, you're cooperating to kill all the dudes. Oh, I can see it better here. Where's Street Fighter? It's a f the, the fucking skee-ball. Uh, How many skee-ball machines do you need? They have like eight. There's a bunch of little blocks. I'm not sure what this game is, it's weird. There's like a Galaga-style thing up there on the poster on the wall, you're gonna see it over here. 
He's shooting whales? <laughs> um? Wait, those aren't whales. What are you talking about? You don't think those were whales? No, on the left side of the screen. No, the I think poster. those are clouds. Maybe. There's a lot of space whales. It does look media. like whales. Yeah. It's like, is it Star Trek? That was the most financially successful Star Trek movie in the original series was the whale one. They go to San Francisco and they have to save the whales. Does that happen in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at one point? There's a lot of space whales in fiction for some reason. Uh, I don't know where the, where the first one was. Gamer chick! Leave me alone or I'll mess up! I agree. You cram in my steez where I'm playing this game with my mind and not my hands. I was, She's not even touching it. I was watching that, there's that documentary on video games that's narrated by Charles Martinet, who I love because I met him in person and he's so nice to me. Uh, he voices Mario. And also the dragon from uh, Skyrim, which is funny. <laughs> but, uh, Why is this a light gun game? I, I just think that kid's glitching out. <laughs> <laughs> but they were talking about how Pac-Man was made was made for women because they didn't think that girls would want to kill things. So they figured that eating things was nicer. Eating And I was like, I don't think it's nicer. I you're, still, you're still killing things. They're ghosts, though, but still. And I guess they actually really didn't think it was going to be successful in America at all. They thought just J Japan was going to like and it. And then they made Miss Pac-Man just to lean in. Yeah. Miss Pac-Man's better, to be honest. I'm going for the high score. Depth. <laughs> She's not even dancing. She's not even dancing. She's just fucking standing there. If, if you dance, will she dance? Dan don't, don't you want to play Dance 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 Dance? <laughs> dance 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 Dance. That's my favorite game is Dance 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 Dance. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that I, I, I went on a date with this guy that had a tattoo? Or dance Dance Revolution tattoo? Of what, a character or a logo? No, weirdly enough, and I, this this is so specific, I don't think this guy will ever find this, but he has a, he has a tattoo of an otter holding one of the buttons from Dance Dance Revolution. Like these arrows? Yeah. Otter holding up. I don't know what the otter means. Well, That's uh, too uh, many fucking arrows. That's it, not playable. That's super impossible. It was a really bad tattoo. And it's, it is because uh, yeah. his nickname was Otter or something. And I, I was know. like, oh, you mean like in like uh, gay culture? Like, are you. <laughs> I was like, you don't look like an otter to me. He didn't like that joke. TDR is so fucking fun. I used to play it so much in high school. I could, I could, I could, be, I could, be, I could beat most songs on heavy. Why is that one uh, ski ball longer? Advanced mode. Perhaps. <laughs> I, don't, I have no clue. ATM, got the terrifying lady. Got <laughs> some like, change. Everyone's like, oh, she's really cute, but she's making the meanest face. Why do they think she's, like, I mean, not saying, like, you can be mean looking and still be cute like Audrey Plaza. Like, that's fine. Yeah. But, like, maybe it's, maybe it's what she's supposed to be. Scott, what are you doing here? He fucking, oh, yeah, she, she ble bleeps out. She keeps bleeping her. How, you, how are you doing that how with your mouth? How are you doing mouth? that with your mouth? <laughs> Fuck, love that movie. Yeah. I like that the- it's called the Continue Machine. That's where you get changed for the arcade. <laughs> it says Continue. Anyway, let's let meet this lady. <laughs> She's just vibrating in rage. Do you need change? No, I see. So what do you want? Just to talk? I'm too tired to talk. I work here 10 hours a day. Go find someone who cares. Look at the bags under her eyes. Like she's just, she's on our like oh, she's third. She's on, her, she's on her third energy drink of the day, and she's just waiting out the clock, and she's exhausted. No, it just loops. Well, I think eventually you're gonna need change. Maybe that's what you do. Also, there's a change machine next to her. Why, why did she offer you change? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure how much she has to do. There's no, there doesn't even appear to be prizes. There's an here. ATM and there's a change machine. Normally, basically, her only job besides yeah. answering questions is to give prizes and also make sure people don't fuck up your place. There's no evidence that there's even prizes here. Make sure people aren't shaking the crane machine. She's giving me protagonist vibes. Yeah. So did the guy at the uh, record store. Yeah, because they have more detail in their characters. Yeah. There's like a genericness to everybody, and the, those two characters have like details. You can definitely tell the, the guy who made this tried to make himself attractive in this world. <laughs> he gave himself big ol' anime eyes. The big ol' anime eyes. Everyone else has little, little weird faces. Really weird faces in this game, actually. They're all, they're all like, not... There's a lot going on. I don't know why old people are three feet tall. I wonder if, like, uh... A lot of people have a hard time with... expressions, you know? Where'd they say we're going next? It's, it's like it, a social it unawareness. I wonder if the guy who made this game has that problem. Maybe that's why he's so angry. Like the Tommy Wiseau disease? 
I mean, it's just, it's just like a, it's like, it's like being on. They said we're going into the, into the woods now, right? Yeah, it's fine. You have to go find the girl that you abandoned. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Why are there so many windmills? Too many windmills. Too many windmills. Dude, I forgot the word that I said I was going to make a thing last time. <laughs> <laughs> was it Yowdy? It was Yowdy. I think it was Yowdy. Yowdy. It was a variation of... Howdy, but I just of, said it... Yeah. Funny. Y'all out. Howdy, yeah, I, th I think that's kind of what I did. Yeah. Yowdy. I'm... <laughs> you tried to remember that joke, but seconds later, it was Yowdy 5000. <laughs> <laughs> Yowdy, yeah. Yowdy. Did you get the, 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 um, that, uh, chest behind that formation with the two rocks in front of it? Formation? Yeah, by that stump in the corner. There's, there's a treasure chest right there. Oh, shit. Whoa, 40, 40 more bucks. Dollars. That's a good amount. 40 bucks. Why does it sound like a thing? 40 I don't know. Oh, Quiznos. Quiznos subs. Oh God. Dude, do you want to remember that? You remember that? You remember that? Uh, I, I remember it because I remember it because you bring it up a lot. I love it. <laughs> they have like hamsters. It's like, isn't it like terrifying it's taxidermy creatures that love Quiznos? Yeah. And that's supposed to make you want to eat food. It was one of those commercials that like had no strategy. It was just like we're gonna make you remember this by being really weird, and, and that's that was the only strategy the only we have. Quiznos subs. Some look it up if you haven't seen it. It's we really cool. just it's got cool like right it. back in. Oh, Starman! Starman in the sky. Where are we? What? I like. I do like these weird um. The dream places. Weird, yeah, dreamscapes. It's like LSD dream emulator moments. Full of Zelda pots. We saw something we never could have imagined. A being made of stars. Oh, is that the King of All Cosmos? The entire galaxy, no, the universe maybe, compressed into the silhouette of one entity. It hadn't noticed us at first. We were as insignificant to him as the trillions of stars at its core. But when provoked, it came after us, like we were the most sought after thing in the universe. I'd been scared before, everyone has, but those past memories of fright were nothing compared to what we had just experienced. As if a black hole incarnate had come to exist and it wanted us gone. As if consuming us was its only purpose. I couldn't say why I felt that way at the time, but I had known it was true. And with all this in mind, Sammy's vanishing was starting to feel like the least supernatural thing I would experience. I mean, yeah, remember when you made the pyramid cry? That was first. <laughs> Ooh, music. Yeah, I was saying music with, with words. Look at this battle arena. And, uh... How dangerous could he be? Very dangerous. His power levels... I'm out of practice now. <gasps> hey! Yay, good try. job! He dodged you. He said it was protected by something? Oh, the, the, te the text comes and goes so fast I can't read it. This guy looks really intimidating. Watch out! I'm for gonna this get guy. it with my noodle arms. <laughs> <laughs> Take rapid photos of to damage enemies with blinding light. <laughs> Are you, you waiting too long? I couldn't tell what the minigame was. I think there was like a battery that was draining next to me, and I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. He's dead. <laughs> uh, let's use the panda. Yeah, look at his picture in the corner. Panda barrier. He's just laying on the ground. Because he's just looking at him on the ground. Uh-oh. You're protected by panda. Oh, uh, wait, did you say the protection ended? Shit. It's only useful if, if the enemy has like a pattern of, of attack, and you could just use it when you know he's going to attack next. If not, you're just wasting a turn every time. I can't read- I can't finish reading that sentence, it goes too fast. I think I'm supposed to lose. Yeah, I don't think- yeah, I was gonna say, there's, you're not making it. Run? 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> I think he's cool looking. Alex runs away. Run, you're running away. Oh god, he's still coming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you have to actually leave. What will you do? Get the fuck out. Hey buddy, how you feeling? You feeling alright? Yeah, wanna talk about that thing that just happened? We we died. Remember that? <laughs> anyway, um Maybe yeah, gonna be have to fight and lose. You're gonna lose though. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what's I just saved a minute ago before before I got here. You today. can revive him next time you're in the fight with the smelling salts. Yeah, but is it is it worth reviving no. him if we apparently can't hurt him? Yeah, I don't think so. The, can I make the text not do that? I'll, I'll look really hard. Oh, it's just controller type. I don't... I can't... So that's all the settings. <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just says something. It's like, it is protected... And I can't read it, because it goes away immediately and I'm not pressing A. So I can't tell why I can't hurt him. It's unhelpful. Not enough pee pee. <laughs> and my friend's back. Yeah, I guess do they just get revived after each With fight? One health. Oh, he only has uh, one health. Oh, glitched. It lagged. All right, what's your attack like? Ah! <laughs> Did I just beat him with a camera? What is it saying? Oh, well, there's that guy again. Yeah, I, he's... I, I can't tell what it's saying on the screen when I attack him. Says, uh, protected by some unknown forces. I thought he says... I, it sounded like he said, like, I don't know what came over me, but I was overwhelmed with anger or something. No, well, I talk about you. Like, you, yeah. then you have something with fire. Does like, it like say you're, that when you're I filled attack? with fire. I think it's if you get the six combo. Uh. I don't. Why did they, they fill the combat with text you can't read? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I did the best I could or something. I'm like, I. What? what? <laughs> it's like they want me to read it, but they made it impossible to read. Spooky. Would you like to continue? Do you feel that tingling sensation? Ooh. <laughs> that is how it feels to have your soul separate from your body. Do you wish to return to your physical form and continue? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a... Wait. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, honestly. What the fuck? What? How was I supposed to react to that? <laughs> it was the first jump and it had a Poco Man at it. What? Need to run underneath him, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, like I, I didn't jump. That was me running under it. You can't like slow down. I don't think so. Nah, you just jump. Nothing does anything. Oh shit! Wow, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so forlorn. Why is there a Poco thing all of a sudden that wasn't here before? What the fuck? I don't... I don't know what the game wants from me right now. Well, I'm gonna die. All I have is Panda. Hmm. Karate stance. Protect Like it's so easy if there's no Pogo Man, but how do you escape Pogo Man? <laughs> the Pogo Man is undefeatable. K. 
Okay. I'm not. Am I insane? Uh, do you also have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now? I yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the game expects from me. Maybe I'm supposed to throw a cat somewhere. But the cat you can't use the cat, right? I can use the cat in the overworld. Maybe I'm supposed to do something around here. Like the pots. Are the ladies? No, no, no. Go, go around them. Go around them. <sighs> So, like his little wavy arms. Burp, burp, burp. Burp. No pogo. Burp. Alex runs away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Yay! What have I got? Holy water and ambrosia. Holy water? Use holy water on him. <laughs> He's really fixated on me. <clears throat> now let's try to read what those items do. Mm. Restores 100 PP. It doesn't do anything for us. Where's Ambrosia? Is that a equipment? Ambrosia's food. Oh, here we go. 100% health and PP. That's so much PP. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, it's not a- as far as I can tell, it's not avoidable. I don't know what the fuck the game wants for me. There you go. Oh, you can jump really high. I wasn't holding it. Bye, Hi. One of them has accessories, and the other one doesn't. You notice that? Yes. Only one of them has, like, pink accessories on them. Oh, don't I click on the door in time? Shit. He's got, like, a saint thing over his head. <laughs> well, now that's is easy. Better run, Alex, you coward. Give I, I, me a chat! I like how, like, nonchalant they are in the elevator after that. Just yeah. gonna... Alright. I guess I'll heal. <laughs> I guess. It's like, I got... Fucked up! Cheese. Heal thyself, cheese. I would like a Caesar salad. And a meatball sub. <laughs> a meatball sub, please. Alright. What have I accomplished? Well, I got Ambrosia. Oh, well, you already had that. Oh, I was supposed to run away. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was just supposed to run away more. <laughs> that's, that's confusing. Yeah, no, that wasn't clear about what I was accomplishing. That's not the face for that. He doesn't have the voice I would think he would have. Well, what, what just happened? I, what? Just, can you even believe what just happened? <laughs> oh, man, dude, we need to get your photos developed. Developed? This thing is digital, baby! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We really do just have two of the same person. So what now? Do we just leave? That's what happens to the same writer. Like Yes! They, 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 didn't, they, they didn't give that guy the right faces for any of that. The Chance Traveler. Yeah, he looks so... He's always mellow or something. Yeah. He's not... He doesn't have the... A panic face. Constant, uh... Fucking migraine face that our character has. Yeah. Again, like right I now. I left the old factory. Frightened and confused. And once again, I didn't have Sammy with me. Oh yeah, I forgot about her already. <laughs> what was it? Come back. As I waited outside of Michael's house for him to get his transfer cable, I couldn't help but be uneasy. You're no kidding. I still didn't know where Semi was, and all the- <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot all, what her name was! Yeah, and all I had- all we had found was some more mystery. 
Okay, dude, let's go upload these. He gave him shaggy voice. Yeah. My mom's on the phone, so if we want to go online, we'll have to go back to your house. Remember, remember dial-up kids? I remember that. Sorry about all the back and forth here. At least now we'll remember where I live. You, Who, you, you didn't know where you lived before? Yeah, Michael lives at the please read the sign sign. <laughs> what a sad thing to say, though. It's like, like now that this has happened, maybe <laughs> we can be friends and you could actually pay attention to me. In my life, and the fact that I also live- Now you'll be forced to imagine me complexly. She moved. She did. Heading to Windtown soon. Hope that wasn't a spoiler. Tell my sister I said hi. Watch out for her left hook. Her sister's gonna punch us. I hope so. I was totally wrong about that pawn shop. They sell all sorts of things. No, this is not a paid endorsement. I'm five. I really do love it there. At the pawn shop? Who's, who's letting your, their kid just hang around the pawn shop? I like the stench of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching people cry as I have to pawn like, their dead mother's wedding ring. Yeah. You should watch Uncut Gems. That wants to know my sister. That's a good movie. Has your sister been around lately? That girl used to be the talk of the town. These days, seems like everyone's forgotten she even existed. Yeah, that's the Adam Sandler movie, right? Uh, the yeah. It's not by him, though, so it's good. Well, it, it's a reminder that Adam Sandler actually does have talent, he just doesn't yeah. care. He just doesn't want to use it. Yeah. He's in good movies, he just never makes good movies. <clears throat> Damn. No, I really like Uncut Gems. Hey, how's that magazine coming? Oh, it's great. Got all the stuff written, mostly. Well, it's more of a bunch of ideas floating around inside my head, but it's coming together. Should finish issue number one any day. Okay. Cool. So, like, next month I should be able to pick it up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Next month. He's procrastinating. He has a very high forehead. Oh, he has a very, like, bad hairline. Vroom. Same thing. I thought that was real life, because that's always what I hear. Fucking motorcycles. While we waited for Michael's camera to transfer the photos, we began to talk. I was talking to my cousin about this recently. The lifelong implications of seeing something actually, undeniably supernatural. Specifically, your reflection doing something that you were not doing. Ooh. He has a six-year-old daughter. She's really precocious. Apparently, she told my cousin that when she looked into the mirror, she was smiling, but that she knew she wasn't smiling. When I thought about that, I knew it would destroy any respect you had for the rules of life or the boundaries of what could happen. I asked him what he said and he just shrugged his shoulders and said, eh, kids say weird shit. I pushed they him do. a little bit on the subject later on after a few <clears throat> drinks in him, and he said that it scared him to picture his daughter and another version of his daughter in the mirror, smiling when the other looked so miserable. He told me that his wife said his daughter was just confused, that she probably felt sad but was smiling from having fun playing. That's what I so would say. inside, she wasn't smiling, but outside, she was. Maybe she couldn't understand what it meant to look happy outwardly, but feel inwardly depressed. Like as if her vocabulary wasn't enough to express depression. But, I don't know. She is a smart kid, and somehow it felt wrong. Her reflection smiled at her? That's really creepy. <laughs> Have you ever had any other experiences with paranormal stuff? Like before? Not really. I've always had a bit of an interest in it. I always thought that these sort of things follow certain people around. Like there's something that picks a particular person and forces them to see all the weirdness that others miss out on. You say that with a lot of affection. I don't know. It's just kind of been my thing for a while. Conspiracies, ghosts, missing people, things like that. When did you first get into this sort of thing? I can't remember one thing that really pulled me in. My parents always fell asleep watching TV. They used to sneak into their room and watch those missing persons shows while they were sleeping. Once your mom finally got internet to Frankton, I started checking out some of the more paranormal websites. <laughs> Once long, again, your mom's I realized awesome. that the information was too scattered. I spent a few weekends learning HTML, and before I knew it, Onism 1999 had over 15,000 hits each week. Wait. You were involved with making Onism 1999? Yeah, I was gonna say, that's new information, right? Yeah. Like, she's, she's revealing that he made it. You 
didn't know that? I figured that's why you kept talking to me about the missing Asian girl. No, I just needed to get all that off my chest. Look, Michael, I need to be entirely honest with you, but yeah, just promise me you won't think I'm insane or anything. Okay, fair enough. What did you lie about? <laughs> I met the girl who went missing. Her name is Sammy. I had followed a cat into the abandoned factory, and I found her there. She had been looking for her cat. I just assumed the cat hung out there and she had gone in to try and find him when he didn't go back home. But the thing is, she said some really strange stuff. Stuff about living in the factory, pretending not to know what elevators were. Pretending. Well, okay, maybe not pretending. I was gonna say, like, the way you say it almost sounds like she was hang like her, what she was Just telling trolling. us, like, I like to hang out in the factory and not know what elevators are. Even though this factory has elevators in it. They're back to playing the Beatles song again. Yeah. It's y yesterday. every single time I'm like... <laughs> It, it, every, every single time it sticks out so much to me, I'm like, hey, wait. Just, just that one part. Yeah. But it's like, it's I think she really undeniable. Didn't know what they were. There were weird gaps in her knowledge that I had interpreted as her being quirky, but now I wonder if there was actually something really wrong with her. You saw her yesterday, right? So you saw her after she went missing? That's actually a good thing, Alex. This means she wasn't taken by some serial killer or a rapist. It means she was swallowed up by a being made of stars and planets. How is that better? Mm, I don't know. Fair enough. So, what was her last name? Did she tell you that much? Maybe we can check online for a missing persons report. You could call the police and tell them you know where the video was taken. I don't know. There still is a part of me that thinks that, like... What, that you dreamed it? Dude, I don't know. That would be a pretty specific dream. Dreams are really specific. A dream that's corroborated by real life immediately afterwards. I guess you can make a point for that one idea where like people, sometimes people insist that they saw somebody that they've never seen before in their dream that they meet them the next day, but because memories are so iffy, they're really just like projecting the person they're meeting right now over the memory of the dream that was that didn't really have a, st a static face in it because dreams well, are that, that's how deja real. vu happens like yeah well okay so i wouldn't like this well i wouldn't like these people in real life for a lot of reasons but this guy with the striped shirt like people like i'm not i'm such a skeptic it's like i don't believe in ghosts i don't believe in anything like this the whole girl smelling in the mirror thing i'm definitely on the mom side where i would have been like yeah, yeah your daughter just has some sort of like issue with understanding emotion like a lot of kids you do. You spend that entire age figuring out emotion and life and everything. And so you say really baffling things about it. When I was a kid, my aunt used to make, used to have me like make faces in the mirror. Like a lot, like we did it for fun. And like, I think, I think that actually helped me develop my ability to, uh, my, like my capacity for understanding human emotion and like my ability to feel empathy, I think comes from like really understanding people's faces. Cause I used to practice all the time when I was a kid. And so it's at the point now where it's like, if I go, if, I, if I'm if i sad, I'll like, if I look at myself in the mirror crying, it'll make me cry more. Oh no. So if I get really drunk sometimes, <laughs> it's so you bad. It, you can do a feedback. If I get really drunk, I'll go, I'll go in the mirror and I'll like, I'll make myself cry and I'll just watch it myself cry. <laughs> I, I, drunk pictures of myself crying. Stephanie hurt herself in confusion. <laughs> I know, it's such, a, it's such a weird thing. But like, no, I mean... Well, now I know your elemental weakness is mirrors. If, if I see other people crying, it makes me cry too. <laughs> but the, uh, the... No, I don't believe in anything this guy believes in. I would just say... And like, like yeah, go show that video to the police. What are they gonna do? They, they're gonna be like, that's not real. Do you think he has... Do you think somebody pointed out to him and the creator was just like, oh, fuck, that is just yesterday? <laughs> Um, I don't think this guy would ever listen to anyone else, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Or maybe he has no friends. I don't know. One of those things. If he had friends that would input on this game, they would tell him how, like... How, uh... How I They'd be like interesting asking, like, the writing supposed, is. Am I supposed to hate everyone? <laughs> yeah. So, well, this guy sounds a lot like you. And not That's everyone... Like, you're not everyone's cup of tea. I wasn't expecting a game of all Chloe's. <laughs> or everyone's Chloe. <laughs> so you think you went into the factory, came home, and then had a really realistic dream where you met a missing girl you hadn't seen before? Yes. That is the most <laughs> realistic option, just saying. 
But... <sighs> you see, she didn't exactly look like the girl in the video. There was something skeletal about her appearance. Something otherworldly. That's what you pointed out. You said that her legs were bones. Yeah. Other... Worldly? Yeah, like the star dimension. Yeah. Dude, just forget I said it. Did the pictures upload? Yeah, let me pull them up. How is this possible? They completely distorted the photos! God, this guy is... His face, he needs a new face to match the voice acting. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at his, like, incredibly laid back, kind of disappointed, sad face. And the way that the voice actor shrieks the line. It sounds like he's saying something like... Dude, like that. Okay, dude. well, yeah, this is pretty otherworldly. It was as if someone had cracked an egg over my head. What trickled out was hot dread, a feeling of pure anxiety. <laughs> it, it's like each of them should have voiced the other character. Basically, if you switch their two voices, uh, yeah. their faces would make more sense. This I, guy's freaking out all the time. He's always wide-eyed and his pupils go tiny and his hands are always in his hair, but it always ends up in the same place somehow. All of my fears were confirmed. What I was experiencing was real. There was no doubt about it. Well, yeah, you just saw the Starman boss with another person as a witness who still hasn't been kidnapped, so mm -hmm. he's right here. The photos don't really need that. We uploaded the photos to Onism 1999 and waited for an explanation. We had our doubters, but more people wanted to believe than not. And with each reply, Sammy got pushed further away from the forefront of the discussion. Everyone on on the the fucking Reddit or whatever is just like, is this an Earthbound sequel? <laughs> I explained how the building was the same one from the Elevator Girl video, that everyone was more concerned by the creepy figures in the photo. Well, yeah. Each time my little mailbox turned red, I slowly realized that everyone on this forum wanted the content to be true. They needed it to be. Yeah, why else would they want to look at that yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's an entire conspiracy website where people want to have confirmation that their crazy thoughts are true, and they're getting it. Yeah. So, yeah. What you, what you expected? A few people tried to explain why the photos were distorted, but most people believed it to be ghosts, or the devil, or other stupid things like that. Or magnets, how they work. I consider myself <laughs> something of a philosopher in college. I thought I had answers. <laughs> of course he did. come face to face with the otherworldly. Of course he did. College makes college really makes you a new man. I consider myself a philosopher at I the age of twenty-one. People who consider themselves to be philosophers, because real philosophers are like don't even consider themselves to actually be philosophers. Yeah, no, it's it means you're an exhausting person. The question is whether or not the writer knows he's exhausting. You're not supposed to tell people that you're a philosopher. Just, or if it's just an insert, I can't tell. I know now that every person who tells you about spirituality. Dead people and all that have no idea what they're talking about. All that stuff's really interpretive. And it somehow stuck. I told the truth, and it just gets muddied up by that same ancient myth. With the exception of my post, most of the things on that forum seemed like lies. It wasn't until about two weeks after my post when a user posted something about a girl who could rip holes in time and space. Ooh. I wouldn't have believed it myself, but he had photos. And we had seen the girl before. Oh. So you realize we've seen this chick before, right? From the arcade? Oh, that'd be Did cool. Did she rage so hard she ripped <laughs> time space? <laughs> well, if she can rip hold in time and space, why does she have to work 10 hour days? <laughs> Maybe she just skips ahead. Uh, out of body experience. Just uh, zone out for yeah. 10 hours? It just reminds me of a... Uh, I think it was just a, a dumb like college comedy about like a fake college or something and there was like one guy that wanted to teach to just do a, a class on making people's heads explode with his mind <laughs> I, I think people would sign up for that really where she, wait knew you'd get there eventually it's that old lady from the arcade she's enough with that old crap she's probably our age don't let me in with you 20-somethings. I have a bright future ahead of me. You, can you see it? It's over there by the grandfather clock. <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Just wait till you're done with college. You'll be... 
boring and fat like the rest of your graduating class, I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, I will continue to be my interesting, slim, nubile self. Ew. Nubile never sounds anything but creepy. Yeah. Nubile. Yeah. <laughs> I stand by my statement. Anyway, let's take another look at those photos. Wow. It's just so unbelievable. What is the likelihood that this is a thing? It's incredibly unlikely. But since we've got nothing better to do, let's say we visit ye old arcade for some air hockey and interview an interdimensional traveler. I didn't even see air hockey there. They didn't there. have air hockey. They had ski ball. They had like 12 ski balls. People constantly refer to the wrong things in each room, but they just aren't there. Like the art design, like the art environment design doesn't match the dialogue. Watch them just like spawn an air hockey table now. I feel like uh, the same way about the word nubile that I feel about the word life. Moist. It's like if someone refers to themselves as lithe, then like that's kind of weird. Oh, lithe? 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 L-I-T-H-E? Yeah. Okay. I, was, I, I thought you were saying life, and I was like, what? <laughs> Hello, it is me, life. Hello, it is I me. I am so life. I am life. How is life? Are you okay? No. You know how to get to the park? Wait. All the old guys say the park is the place to be. Why would you get back over here? I don't know. On one hand, it's neat. Where's your wife? It's neat that it seems like every single person has new dialogue, but on the other hand, I can't do this to myself. <laughs> I can't talk to every single person every day. Holy crap. That's so many people. That's been most of the game so far. Oh, this is the same this is the same as before. That one didn't change. Uh oh. Yeah, he, she's be like, good to her. be good to your mother. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was never born. You can't make me respect women. <laughs> I got a oh, it's the Manic Pixie Dream Girl guy. But they say the same thing. Pretty sure you Yeah, can. that's what she said last time, but they're over here now. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Just moving around a bit. Trying to make the area seem less static. That. She's playing that arcade now. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, yeah there's no air hockey here. Just a lot of ski ball. But yeah, instead of being behind the counter, she's now playing. No, that, no that's, a, that's a different girl. No, that's the oh, one oh. the counter. So, you gonna talk to her? Are you kidding me? That's totally your job. Just man up and say something to her. I... Nah, I, I don't think I should. It'd be, uh, good for you to learn to talk to girls before you go away to college. I know how to talk to girls. But she is a senior citizen, man. What is she, like, 27? Ew. That's your thing, man. I told you to cut it out with the age crap. She's probably no older than 24. They, they're just gonna keep having this conversation over and over again, aren't they? That's... <laughs> like, just over and over. Like, what, like, and what, like, what's the big deal? If... And besides, aren't you the nubile one? You're much more desirable. What? I don't like these implications. Hmm, yes, that's true, I am. Is she ever going to jump in that platform where she keeps pressing the button? I know, I was just thinking about that, like... But, but nothing's happening on the screen. They don't got time to animate that. Listen here, boys. We have a zero creeping on women policy here. If you'd like to ogle some women, I'm sure your mothers would love it if you were home in time for supper. Damn. <laughs> it's not that. It's just we have this photo of you that we... You've been taking it's not a good way to start. No, it's not a good intro. Wow, you guys are even more screwed up than I thought. Can't say you'd be the first pervs I've thrown out of this place. Oh, He's a fighter. I thought she fucking broke a bottle and was coming at us. She's got a keytar. Yay! <laughs> she uses it as an axe. <laughs> uh, ugh. that's different. She beats people with a keytar like it's an axe. That's beautiful. Great. She's my favorite character so Mysterious far. Mysterious Vela. This is an overpowering combat song. Slap, 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 slap. Oh no, she's gonna destroy us. Which is, oh, she's level five. And yeah, why are you so behind? Are we, to be, are we supposed to be like grinding this whole time? I don't know, the story is like not even started yet. I feel like she's just supposed to destroy us, because she's... Right. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah, you're screwed. Oh, 
God damn it, I'm falling apart. She's a Charmeleon and you guys That's are like damage. freaking Caterpies and tall grass. Oh. A zero hit combo. Well. Defense! Still died. <laughs> that hurt. I don't know if I should be should I be healing? I don't think so. I don't stand a chance. Yeah, he, he, healing would just be this. a waste of Oops. turn. I missed the easy one and hit the hardest one. There we go. Maybe I should have run. No, you're nope, supposed to lose. to lose. Okay, okay, we give in. Just, he's off. We didn't mean to be creepy. I don't love how this game's being really ambiguous consistently about whether or not I'm supposed to win fights or not. Yeah. It makes, it, it makes me not sure what to do. Well, there's not like two fights in a row like that. It's kind of like... Yeah. A little bit confusing. Then why were you taking photographs of me? Hey, we didn't take the photos. Someone on the internet did. This camera's just for show. Yeah, that's all Someone suspicious. On the internet? What are you talking about? The internet can't take photos. If you'd stop slamming our heads together for one minute, we'd love to explain. <sighs> okay, explain. There's this website where people post conspiracies and other weird things, and there's this photo of you, like, exploding things with your mind. You said tearing holes in space and time. I like, I like her, her image in the background where her like she's getting mad, so she had like her hair and her like outfit like floats yeah, up she, a little bit. Yeah, she has like a Super Saiyan like pulse thing yeah. that happens where every, all, the, all the all the loose everything around her body just kind of levitates for a second. Exploding things with my mind. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm sure it's an old photo. So you're not denying that you can do that. Of course I can't. Not with my mind, at least. <laughs> this goes against all the better judgment I have in me, but can you take me to a computer to show me these photos? Yeah, sure. I live like five minutes from here. You didn't print them out? Uh, also, aren't you working? This guy just materialized here. Oh yeah, no, I guess he, she wasn't working because she was playing games. No loitering. What else do you do in an yeah, arcade? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what? What else do you do in an arcade? Also, that guy was not there a second ago. Mm -mm. When, she, when she was playing video games. She was the only person here, so that's just weird. I guess she's just like, Get, come off your break, I gotta go do whatever the fuck I, we're I doing. I feel like that tip that just showed up wasn't about the game. In the top corner? Yeah, it's just something about like, when someone asks you a question about yourself. It was like, it was like giving you like, like tips like on how to talk advice? to people, yeah. I think so. They're all just from the game. <laughs> One of them says something about showering. <laughs> what? I saw like temperature readings. I guess you just can't read any of these if you're on PC. It's like unreadable. Show her the picture, and then maybe like Kiki at when we're done this cutscene because well, she's pacing. That's me. Just. She's just I don't know when these were taken. Doesn't like to not be paid attention to for more than five minutes. How exactly do you explain all the blowing stuff up with your mind things? Can you really do that? It's not exactly with my mind. I use sound. And the sweet keytar. <laughs> Remember when I kicked your ass earlier? I used the sound of my keytar to deal physical damage. I think you swung it at us. Like... If you study the physical <laughs> properties of sound, you can learn enough about acoustics <laughs> To both heal and damage objects orally. <laughs> she definitely was just hitting us with it. <laughs> Where did you learn to do something like that? Oh, years of private practice and studying, really. So tell me more about this website. What is Onism1999? Basically, it's a place on the internet for people to talk about conspiracies, the occult, and anything supernatural. Seems like something boys would like. <laughs> do you recognize the location from these photos? But that's behind the old grocery store. Obviously, you've been there before. Hmm. Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> that sounds like an accusation. Obviously. There's a. I'm just wondering how much of the script is going to be re-explaining things, because <laughs> we we recover re the same ground a lot uh, here. What's your name, by the way? Like My this. Name's Bella like literally this. Um, it's interesting to meet you. 
We didn't even ask until now. But we knew it when we fought her. Well, yeah, the interface I'm guessing magic. you're a cameraman, and this is your sidekick, Ginger Boy? Uh. Usually I go by Alex. Only my mom is allowed to call me Ginger Boy. That's... <laughs> she really gets us! What? You really would be my sidekick, Alex. Cameraman by day, Michael by night. This is the first time where this gesture made sense. Yeah. That is the gesture you would make for at least this. in movies of this. Yeah, like, imagine, imagine. cameraman by day, Michael by night. Right. So, why do you two spend all your time on such odd websites? Do you really believe this stuff? Michael and I spent the next hour or so recounting the events of me finding Sammy and us running into the star creatures inside of the old factory. See, that's what you're allowed to do instead of all of the times you keep re explaining things on camera. <laughs> As you could do, you just be like, and then we explained it to her, and then we don't have to read all the dialogue again. As we told the story, Bella just looked into my eyes and never reacted. I first began with trepidation. As it went on, I could tell she was doing her best to understand my story. Or she wasn't paying any attention. She was zoning out the whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you, what, what was that? <laughs> like after an hour? <laughs> Something felt familiar about her. But not in the, I've met her sort of way. Something deeper. I'm also in love with her. Yeah, do you just... What is the deal here? You didn't feel that way about Michael. Yeah! All the women you encounter, you suddenly have this deep connection with, apparently. I dated a girl in college who was a women and gender studies major. She told me that she believed men and women were all the same at our core. I majored in women. <laughs> it's called being a human being. The same elements. Not just on a physical level, but in a metaphysical level. She was a strong believer in spirituality. Although she'd be the first to tell you she was religious. Most people who who say that they're spiritual will also say they're not religious. So that's, <laughs> I'm, that's I'm usually... not religious, I'm just spiritual. Yeah, that's a very, uh, yeah. I like, <laughs> I like horoscopes. <laughs> I can really she sense your aura. Soulmates, plural. A series of people we were compatible with. In her theory, this applied to friendship as well as romantic relationships. I mean, it only makes sense that it's barely even a belief system. She doesn't even say like a series of people were like com that were like meant for. She just says a series of people you're compatible with, and it's like yeah. This whole just... soulmate thing is like I don't believe in that either because yeah. my my thought process is like of course there's like a, a million types of different people in the world, and so it's like of course you are a person, and you're gonna there are gonna be people that are really compatible with you, and in your lifetime if you meet enough people, you are gonna meet a few of those people. And that's just how it is. She said that when the universe was created, it's like inevitable. all matter was one object. And that since we're all matter, we are all the same. She said that she believes our soulmates were cut from the same section of that initial piece of matter. That unexpected feeling of familiarity you feel when you meet someone for the first time means you were meant to meet. Uh, cite your sources, please. Mm -hmm. I still don't think she has all her facts straight. But every time I feel what I felt when Vela looked in my eyes, I thought of this explanation. Did you manage to speak with the entities? The entities? Uh, I guess you mean the star creatures. Yes, those are the ones. No, we were too busy running for our lives. Did you try and take photographs of them, Michael? <laughs> 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 when he's not talking, he just looks so dead. <laughs> Bella told us things. Confusing things. Things that, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have believed. The way she spoke seemed two-sided. As if for a few moments, a side of her that she was trying to keep hidden was visible. And as soon as we noticed, she made to cover herself up. She made jokes more often than she was serious. But when the serious aspect of her personality appeared, I was convinced that's who she really was. This was almost more fascinating than the information she was giving us. That's the thing with people, isn't it? You can show them all the mysteries of the universe, but if they're distracted by the human element of the tale, they'll shift all of their attention there. Self-consumed with humanity. Self-consumed with other people. You know? That's just how people are. Self-consumed other people. My experience with them is limited, but what I've observed was powerful. <laughs> I understand that what I'm about to tell you will sound like a lie, so I ask you to look past the words I'm saying and hear the truth behind them. A short time ago, 
I entered into a dark place, both physically and metaphysically. While I was there, I encountered the entities for the first time. I can't say what about their presence was so striking to me, but the moment I saw them, I felt something. Something that was weighted. Like their bodies took up the entirety of the room, as if they were the room. At first, I approached one and we spoke. However, the contents of the conversation isn't important to the story. Something I said upset it, and it tried to grab me. It was almost like a mother trying to smother its child. Jesus. <laughs> the pain was beyond description. It scared me to death. The entity was incredibly heavy. I managed to break free, but the weight of the thing remained on me. And for the entirety of the following week, it was as if someone was twisting a drill inside me. My head would throb and the pain felt bone deep. You probably can't imagine what it was like, you two, but just the thought of the pain now brings tears to my eyes. I reflected on her story. I wanted to reply, but something inside me told me to let the words hang in the air. It was as if the longer the pause between her words and mine, the more truth they carried. Finally, I spoke. That's horrifying. But can you explain what you mean by entered a dark place? Or more importantly, physically and metaphysically? I can understand doing it physically and mentally, but I need some help with the meta part. Metaphysical is a word. An adjective, to be more specific. <laughs> it means pertaining to or of the nature of metaphysics. Very uh, okay. series of unfortunate events. Well, also, like, what was what, that, that term for, like, when the description of, a, like, the definition includes the word itself it's not supposed to? Yeah. Well, in this case, it's saying it refers to metaphysics, then you're supposed to look at metaphysics. Yeah, so. But in this case, Zella. yeah, it's not very useful of a definition. Are you going to elaborate? There we go. Thank you. That includes the first principles, includes ontology and cosmology, and is intimately connected with epistemology. Isn't epistemology? That's what I was going to Yep. E epistemology. Epistemology is, of course, a branch of philosophy that investigates the origin, nature, methods, and limits of human knowledge. Thank you for the definition, which I already knew. I was looking <laughs> wow. for something more concrete, more tangible. Oh, I'm asshole. afraid that's all I feel comfortable telling you. I don't know you at all, and to reveal something so personal seems like I'd be opening myself up to vulnerability. You used like twice as many words as you needed for that. Like something, something about that, like the way she speaks, I'm like, what? <laughs> Why? Why did you say it that way? <laughs> Why did you take the long way around? Yeah. Do my sad boy face. That you found a way to exist inside of a metaphysical space. That you. Enough. I don't need to talk about this with you. It makes me uncomfortable. Don't you get that? You agreed to come to here. That was a weird choice. Yeah, just saying. You don't know these you people. Knew, you knew we were going to, but like you knew we were going to discuss this, right? Okay, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. Look, I need to get back to the arcade. I was technically in the middle of a shift. I'm gonna write my number down. Call me if you see any more interesting comments on my photos or have a run-in with the entities. Wait, I have one more question before you go. All right. How did you get to be so powerful? You took both of us on and barely broke a sweat. It's because you suck. Yeah, loser. <laughs> You act as if that's impressive. Boom! Yeah! Look, I've trained myself in the metaphysical space, inside of the mind dungeon. I like you two, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Here is one last number. Call it if you ever want to open your mind and expand your battle abilities. That's all I'll say for now. The guy on the other end can explain more. So many... People seem to just casually understand that they're in a video game and shit like that. They're like, it seems it's starting to feel like these two are just the only two idiots that don't get it. <laughs> like, what you, what, you don't use the mind palace? What are you, a rube? <laughs> <laughs> well, the mind dungeon's available. From any phone. This location's vital, vital in developing your party's abilities. Do not neglect to visit here often. Says the tutorial. The way I look at it, we have two things we need to do. 
If we want to hang out with Vela again, we're going to need to train ourselves. We should be at least level 5 before we call her. <laughs> yeah. Also, if we want to call her, we're going to need to search Anism 1999 for some interesting posts. We need someone to have, like, we need an excuse to talk to her about yeah. something. We need, to, we need to come up, we need to dig out some stuff to, to excuse to calling her. Like, that's the goal. Not the stuff, but, the, but her. Hey, little panda. Go grind and then give Villa a call. Yeah, but don't forget to search Onism 1999 for some good posts. We just said these things. That's what, like, memes are for. You don't need to summarize things if the summary is just as long as the thing you already said. Like, yeah. They just said the same things twice. In the same length. <laughs> She'll probably hang up on you and kick our butts again if we don't have anything cool. Yes, we understand. Man, mm -hmm. are we even cool enough to hang out with someone like her? No. Nope! I'm still growing, and you're an overgrown man-child who can barely pick up a record. So let's head out of Frankton and try to find some things to beat up. Sounds good. We should stock up on some healing items at the burger joint before heading out. The, uh... Apparently, the perspective of her changed completely the moment Michael got his ass kicked. Instead of being the old lady, suddenly she's too cool for both of them. Yeah. Boys boys like it when you punch them. Insider tip. <laughs> Insider tip. Hey! Just calling to see if you figured it out. <laughs> I would love to just come out and say it, but I think it would scare you to death. And that would ruin everything. Nope. I haven't figured anything out. Look, if you're just gonna keep calling me and say vague, creepy shit, you should at least tell me your name. Oh! It's your best childhood friend. It's a think panda. Think you met me. We were kids. I think losing my religion by I am had just become a big hit. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Like... Because she was afraid it would turn me into a bad kid or something. What? Uh, you kill her. I listen to it on your stereo for hours. Why? Just the one song. <laughs> There's nothing. No. Why would your mom think that? The song's it's not. The rock music. It's not even twisted rock music. Losing your religion is like an expression to mean like going crazy. That's like a British expression, I think. My mom came to pick me up in your house. There's nothing in it. It's like drug related or anything. I can not remember that. Oh no. It was the funniest thing. The story was so specific. It sounded so familiar, and yet, I couldn't place it. It was like I had read it in a book somewhere, or watched it on a TV show. But still, no particular name or day came to mind. Yeah, you're right. You probably wouldn't remember that. Look, I'm going to keep calling you until you remember me. Remember what you used to say. Everything happens for a reason. That reason is nothing happens for any reason. What a smart-ass thing to I say. I hate it. <laughs> he, thought that was, he thought that was quotable. So that means he's a third shitty character. A kid a kid who says that is going to grow up to be a little troll. Because, like, they're missing the point. I mean, yeah. granted, I don't believe everything happens for a reason at all. But, like, I... I don't know. I just think that's, that's such a smart-ass thing to, like, say all the time. Saying that nothing happens for any reason is the is the equivalent of of everything happening for a reason is like the equivalent of saying that atheism is a religion. It's like no, that, yeah. the, 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 it doesn't work. The sentence you said don't work. I feel like that's what you you just say that to to, to be a contrarian and to make someone else mad at you. Yeah, yeah, you just you're saying it to be annoying. Well, actually, like that's the kid who would say that. Yep, and then you knock him out of the window. 